Hey guys, Freaky Gun here, and this is take 15 and the 10th program on my attempt to make a tutorial on how to download Alta IWNet, which is the Cracked Modern Warfare 2, and make a server and also add mods to that server. So I'm sorry if I don't sound too energetic or anything, it's just that I've been doing this for the last couple of hours, just trying to record this. I've always failed, so I have been searching the internet for new farts. So pretty much to start off you want to go to this website I'll have everything that I say, well not everything I say, but everything important like websites and stuff, I'll have that in the description so just check that if you don't want to watch this whole video and also I'll put times of when to when you can actually start adding mods to your server or when you can actually start making a server but at the start right now we're going to be downloading the files. So just click downloads here on the main thing. Oh my god, shut up. Okay, and you go down to download links and just download this MP rip for Modern Warfare 2. If you already have one and it's not edited, it's the Skid Row or Steam version, just download this and paste all the files in. But if you have this, it automatically comes with this, so you don't need to worry about it. So after you download that, you need to go to this link, which is in the forums, otherwise you can find it under the in the description, but the forum link is the board index, dedicated servers, information and guides, how to set up your new dedicated server and download. So pretty much what you need to do is just click on that and download the server files. It should have the name along something like version 0.3 B for beta, R config, which is the pretty much a remote control fix. So what you should get is, oops, sorry, you should get this torrent file for the MP rip, and when you untorrent it, as I made the folder name, I'm not sure what it's called, you should get these two files. What you do is you open up this file and it has all these, the actual game files. So just extract that to a location, and I've already done that to save time. And you'll get something similar to this. Now remember I've done this 15 times, so I wasn't going to bother trying to copy out the original and put this in. So some files may be different. But the concept is still the same, nothing will be changed. So you need to go back to where you downloaded the server files, which was the thing I was just talking about here and when you extract it you should get these so what it, what you do is you either copy or cut just transfer them from the original file to the game directory so you just paste it in here and it should ask you if you want to um, in this case merge items and copy and replace just make sure you copy and replace and not copy and save or copy and do anything. And that's the files you need for making the server. And I forgot to mention, but if you don't want to make the server and you just want to go and play, all you need to do is use this download, oops, extract it all, and the files you get from that. So not the ones we just put the files into, but before we put the files into it, if I was to click on the IW4MP, it would have loaded it up and I would have been able to play it. But obviously I'm not going to be doing that because the main reason is making a server and putting mods in. I just thought I'd do that just in case other people were watching my video because I will get that question eventually. So pretty much what we need to do now is go into main and you need to create a new text document and name it server cfg and this is where this forum comes in handy because it's got all the files that we all the words that we need you could type it out but i suggest just going to the website and oops no idea what happened there oh shit <laughs> sorry i'll do it the lazy uh, the non lazy way if I remember that. Okay, so just copy everything. 
and to copy it, paste it here. So you should get all of these. Everything that starts with set is what the actual thing is going to be. Everything that starts with two slashes or whatever they are called, it's just information for you to read to know. So see here, set SB max ping 300. Someone might not know what that is, so they'd scroll over here and it would say maximum ping. Any higher and players will be kicked. So you go back here and it says according to this it's 300. So if you leave it how this is, if you if anyone joins your server with over 300 ping, they'll they'll get kicked. That's the name of the server, but for some reason this whole thing doesn't work for me and I have to type in all the codes manually but that's alright because I'm used to it now it's not too bad because I always change them anyway but yeah so that was in main that server file so just leave it there we don't need that anymore you should get this IW4 when you copied the files over so just go send to desktop to create a shortcut and then scroll down further on this page and copy from the first plus to the last plus. And from that what you need to do is go to the desktop, find that file, there's one I had on the last cut, and you can rename this like I have here to alternate server. So pretty much I'll just call this server. You don't need to rename it or anything, I just always like keeping it nice. So here under the target, that's important, you have to go under the target, not the start in. You go to the end, after the speech marks, or whatever they're called, the, those things, you need to just paste in those, that code that we copied. I suggest trying not to change them, and just leaving it how it is. So that's what we've got now. So what you need to do is open it, run, just let it load, it never takes too long, and eventually you'll come up with something along the lines of an external IP here, set external IP. And there shouldn't be anything coming up after that for a, a little bit. So what you need to do is copy the first IP address with the port number, so you need to copy our external IP is and you copy that and then you go to the alter IW net you click on server list control F to find and you paste it in and then you should have something that looks exactly like that and if you click show server stats there should be nothing in it because I'm pretty sure no one would have joined your server by now Although, at the moment, every time I start my server, it's maxed out pretty fast. Okay, the main one we need to join is our internal IP. So, you copy that, and I'm going to stop the video here, just to make sure it's working, and then I'll show you back after I've opened the actual game. So I've got two copies, one to run the server, one to run the actual game, and that's what you should do. So I'll be opening the one to run the game, and I'll be back in a second if I can find out how to stop this new program.